Okay, guys, so in this video, we're going to talk about Tesla stock and the approaching Tesla battery day coming up on September 22nd. So I mentioned in my uh, most recent Tesla video that uh, it was a good opportunity to buy the dip simply because uh, there was a lot of profit taking during done and usually in situations like this after um you know tesla stock split usually a lot of traders what they like to do is they like to buy the rumor and sell the news so what happened was is when tesla stock announced that they were going to um split that's when a lot of people jumped into the stock and then after the st stock took place a lot of people sold the stock to lock in profits so what we experienced is, is that the stock actually ended up bouncing uh from its previous support and now uh, the stock is up big uh, big on the trading day on Monday um, uh, September 14th uh, the day uh, that I posted this video and I think the reason is is that there's much anticipated news for the battery day so I want to talk about that a bit and what kind of the challenges and what are some of the catalysts that could cause Tesla stock to go over 500 uh, and obviously a lot of these uh, moves in Tesla stock are not fundamental moves so it's not because of Tesla's revenue it's not because of Tesla's earnings it's because Tesla has clearly defined themselves as the innovator in the electric uh, car space and the fact is is that we all know that in the next five to ten years there's going to be a so we all know in the next five to ten years there's going to be a drastic reduction in the amount of in, internal combustible engine cars on the road and there's going to be an explosion of electric vehicles and uh, you probably already have seen this if you've been actually like looking around um, society lately there's just an explosion of electric vehicles when it comes to cars uh, even electric scooters bikes and things like that so of course cars are the most uh, lucrative um, type of transportation method out there uh, coupled with um, you know things like um, big vans and things like that so there's other companies working on electric vans as well workhorse which is another company that's doing really well but I just want to talk a little bit more about some of the tweets that Elon Musk has been talking about and what we expect on battery day so before I get into it guys please like this video if you enjoy my content on Tesla it's been really a wild uh, year for Tesla shareholders so I'm going to do my best to give you guys an insight on whether you should buy the stock or not before battery day so to give you guys a quick recap of what's been going on uh, there was an article from Barron syndicated on market watch it says Tesla stock rises as Musk tweets about many exciting things to come and we know that Elon Musk has done this before um, he has around 39 million followers on Twitter and whenever he says something uh, his tweets can go really viral so basically he tweeted that there are many exciting things to be unveiled for uh, battery day on September 22nd and one of the reasons why this is so important is because one of the biggest uh, downside risk I would say to electric vehicles is the cost of the battery so uh, just to give you guys a quick explanation of what that means it's uh you just read from the article it says basically getting battery costs below hundred dollars per kilowatt hours a number floated within the industry that will help increase the penetration of electric vehicles by dropping the cost of purchase closer to a traditional vehicle so it says an electric vehicle typically with a 60 to 80 watt kilowatt kilowatt hour battery pack uh, that makes the cost of battery cells at hundred dollars per kilowatt roughly six hundred to eight thousand dollars so why is this important for battery day well obviously if there's a way that they can reduce the cost of the battery then that can make an electric vehicle actually cheaper than an ICE you know normal v gas guzzler that we see out here on the street and I think that you know obviously during this these times uh, you know consumers are always looking for cheaper products and if they can uh, introduce a more efficient battery and perhaps even a million mile battery that will outlast the life of most traditional cars I think people will run to buy cars like Tesla and other electric vehicles so that is really you know the the, the biggest question that's going to be out here can Tesla basically revolutionize the entire electric vehicle industry with a ridiculous long-lasting battery that is going to make uh, the car actually cheaper and it's going to entice consumers to switch even quicker so you know I expected Tesla stock to be trading you know around three thousand dollars pre-split by like 2025 but I've just been overwhelmed by how fast I've had to upgrade uh, my price projection simply because it just seems like 
what should take a, a year is taking you know one or two months um tesla has just been so impressive with how fast not only that they you know they talk about the changes that they're making but they're actually implementing them so we really don't know exactly what elon musk is going to unveil and the rest of the tesla staff is going to unveil on september 22nd but according to the current stock gains it looks like there's going to be a lot of positive news so to not get uh, too techy on this channel basically uh th this is a huge huge bullish catalyst so then i want to talk a little bit more about what battery day is so battery day is basically just where they talk about um you know the future um techno technological changes in terms of how the car is going to be uh, changing in most of the electric cars the core of the car is the battery so it's just like anything else if you guys use toy cars or you use a uh, you know a remote controller or something like that we all know that these uh, you know these instruments are not useful without a powerful battery so that's why battery day is such a huge event um, and, and as you can see here I'm taking a look at this article that was posted on car and driver and it talks about the company is expected to share details about its current and future battery technologies and give a tour of cell production we're expecting news about cheaper batteries and batteries able to go a million miles over their lifetime so right now currently you can probably get around um, I would say 400 miles of range when you buy a Tesla right now but if they can provide a much longer lasting battery that could change a lot so some of the things that they're going to be talking about during the battery day event will include of course I mentioned this before the million mile lifetime news about range and how Tesla is working to reducing cobalt in their battery pack so cobalt is a really really um, sought after um, aspect of, of battery packs and we all know that cobalt is, is beginning to get expensive along with other um, you know things like silver and gold and we've seen a huge rise in commodity prices so it'd be nice if they could reduce that that would lower their costs as well and then obviously we'll hope that uh, how battery prices have fallen enough that Tesla can offer cheaper vehicles with solid range okay so now I want to talk a little bit more about where I think Tesla stock was going so if you guys have been following my channel anytime I recommended that Tesla stock was a buy at around five hundred and twenty dollars pre split so uh, using the current split price I recommended Tesla stock uh, post split at a round just about or I would say around a hundred dollars maybe like a hundred and four dollars if you take an account to the entire split price so um, if, if you bought on my recommendation earlier uh, you're up a ton so what should you do right now should you buy the stock uh, before battery day well you know according to I'm gonna do a little bit of technical analysis here because this this current stock price is not based on any fundamentals it's basically based on the expectations of Tesla being able to produce cheaper vehicles in the long term with longer lost lasting batteries so I think that this was a short-term correction I think this is profit taking and I think that the the smart thing and prudent thing to do here was to do here with battery day is if you're looking for a short-term trade I would say yes buy it before battery day and then if you're just looking for a short-term Tesla trade, I would say exit the trade uh, on the day after battery day. So usually with things like this, what's going to happen is, is that the stock is probably going to run up in the coming days up until uh, September 22nd. And then just as we saw here, once the stocks were announced, it experienced a drop. So I expect a lot of hype and a lot of uh, buyer interest moving in towards Tesla stock up until the 22nd. And then we'll probably see a peak there. And then probably some of the people that bought it in the weeks coming up to battery day will sell and take their profits. So that's what I would do. I would say buy the stock before the 22nd and then sell it on the next trading day after those announcements are made that would be basically buying the rumor selling the news buying the rumor selling the news for long-term bulls I think like I said always I think Tesla is always a great long-term hold it's been compounding at around 50 percent annually over the last 10 years so this if you're a long-term Tesla bull this doesn't change anything you're still thinking about 2023 2025 you're going to do a long term hold but I always think Tesla is d d we're just seeing the beginning of this company it has so many amazing things in the future and for all electric companies uh, you know there's other great stocks out there that I'm going to be covering in the future I want to talk more about workhorse neo 
uh, Helion, uh, Nikola Motors has been uh, just got a nice partnership with GM. So we're going to be talking a lot more about these uh, electric vehicles in this electric space because I think that this will do a lot of good, not only for consumers and for cheaper vehicles, but for the planet as well. I really want to uh, see some changes because I've experienced personally not only just uh, you know the expensive costs of running uh, ICE gas guzzling car, but the environmental effect that it could cause. It really does uh, cause a ripple effect throughout our environment. So it's really important that we address that problem. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed my video on Tesla. And let me know in the comments what you guys are going to be doing up until battery day. Like I said, uh, this has really good trading opportunity, I think. If you guys are dabbling in, in options trading as well, this could be a quick time to make some quick profits. So uh, be sure to check out uh, some of the links in the description where you guys can uh, use Robinhood or Weeble to trade options then if you guys sign up you guys will receive a free share of stock so that's it for until next time guys be sure to smash that red subscribe button if you enjoy my content so uh until next time guys take care